My name is Britt Robertson and I play Lux. She's a 15 year old girl who's been in foster care her entire life and she seeks out her biologicals and, uh, and needs to get their signature so that she can get emancipated from the foster care system and then they sort of you know, reunite. They haven't seen each other in like 16 years. So uh, yeah, and then I end up getting um, put into their their custody. So so it's exciting. I'm Sherry Appleby. I'm her mom. I'm the mother. I'm the mother. Hey, I'm the mother. Yeah, I'm just the Sure, this is Shuri Appleby. She, she's this amazing actress who plays in the show a. Um, she's a shock jock, like a morning uh, radio jockey. With my fiance. With her fiance, played by the amazing Kerr Smith. And uh, she basically like doesn't want to get married. She doesn't want to have babies. I own a bar. I live above it. And it, like in the morning, I get a knock on the door, and it's this girl. And she's like, "You're my dad." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So then I know that that's the mom. And then this thing happens. It's called life, and it's totally unexpected. Play on words there. It's pretty good. I like that. I like that. I I, I play Ryan Thomas. Uh, this one's significant other. This one's friend, and this one's uh, potential nemesis. We will we will butt heads. Big time. I think the direction of the series is that it's a coming of age story about a group of adults who need to grow up and the vehicle by which they grow up is from the presence of their kid and, and the thing I love about it is that as these kind of really flawed, dysfunctional, real people grow up, it gives uh, Lux, Britt's character, kind of the opportunity to grow down and to be a kid for the first time and not have to be so responsible for everyone and for herself. And so it really is a, a story about growing up. It's just that the grown-ups are the ones who need to grow up. So Yeah, I mean, I think every episode is going to be exploring the dynamic of this kind of unlikely family. I mean, the, it's founded on two people who... Uh, say that they claim to hate each other and how are they going to put their differences aside to come together to raise luck so that's kind of the uh, kind of hook of every episode and, and of course crazy things will happen from that I mean whenever uh, I, I think that the show is so much about a group of people who so don't want to disappoint each other but they can't help but be disappointing and that that's such a hard thing to reconcile. You don't want to be disappointing to the people around you, and inevitably you are. But yet we explore that in a funny way, hopefully. It's hilarious, it's really hilarious, disappointing the people you love. It's a million it's so laughs. so funny. But I think what's also fair to say is that in, in 2009, we were the only uh, one-hour drama that was picked up that's completely character-driven. Like, it's not a procedural show, and it's not a show based on some sort of gimmick. It's like you're watching these people that you grow to love within this one-hour pilot, um, and you are, and you're laughing. You're, you're watching. You're laughing. And all of a sudden, these moments happen where you want to cry. I mean, it's a really wonderful story, and it's going to continue on like that. We had actually a competition to see yeah. who could cry, or was it the first who could cry? Yeah, like the first? who literally could like get tears yeah, yeah, going the yeah. first. And I won that competition, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Chris cheated. He fanned his eyes real quick before we started. You gotta do what you gotta do. I didn't have someone come and blow like peppermint in my eyes. Where's he won? It was the funniest. Gasp for air. I, I, yeah, exactly. <gasps> Big gasp. That's it. She held her breath until she started crying. It was easy. We have our own tactics. <laughs> Uh, well, we live to, we're, we're going to be together. living together. So and, we'll be going uh, home together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and the, he has a family, like a real family. And then Carl will be doing his bachelor thing. And then Liz will be doing her bachelor thing. So, yeah, that'll be it. I am going to move my family to Vancouver, yeah. i got two little boys and my wife. We're all, we're all making home of the Couve, which is not naughty. It's the place. It's Vancouver.